All right, so get this. 22 years ago, on a random Monday, September 10th, 2001, um, I can't remember what I was doing. Uh, one thing for sure is if Monday Night Raw was on, I was watching Raw. Right now, but um, probably we had some pizza or something that we used to do. We were young, I will be celebrating my 22nd birthday in a few months, so you know, I was a young Marine, no cares in the world. Not knowing that when I went to bed, I would wake up on Tuesday and soon after waking up, the entire course of uh, history, our country, the world would change and change it did. Remarkable. The play fake by Quincy Carter, the roll. Based on WFAA's archives, Dallas was Monday morning quarterbacking after the Cowboys dropped the season opener to Tampa at Texas Stadium. The first regular season game without Troy Aikman. Fort Worth was focused on the economy. Austin had high hopes for a charter school. The Texas Supreme Court made news for a case on congressional redistricting. And the Holy Spirit has sent me into your house. a North Texas preacher made news for making the cover of Time. That's Bishop T.D. Jakes on the magazine that hit newsstands September 10th. WFAA's archives tell us it was a normal Monday. So as we were walking up the street, Roger Walters can show us. I turned around and I said to them, I have to take a picture of these things. They're just so amazing. Monday offered no hint, normal. One alone would have been impressive, but there were two of them. Would end. You would just look up and up and up and up. Tuesday. And the next day, 24 hours later, you know. As we know it, well, we just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York. Roger lived in Dallas, was visiting family in New York, and took this picture of the Twin Towers at half past noon, September 10th. I wish I had taken more, of course, but, but you know, at least I got that one. So. Few knew terrorism, hijackers, Al-Qaeda. Those things just hadn't made news. Takes it from the six. A lot of things that mattered on Monday. Beats Gramatica! Michael Jackson is trying to make a comeback. And the question Mattered is much it. less the next day. You just sort of take an assessment of, uh, okay, you know, whew, that was a close one. And, uh, you know, reassess, you know, okay, what have, what have I not done in my life that I really wanted to? The news changed. We all changed. I always liked this place. I always wanted and, and you know, here it was literally a chunk of it taken right before my eyes. I said, I, I gotta move here. If I'm gonna do it, I gotta do it now. So Roger did move permanently from Dallas to New York City. 20 years later, I'm still here. So. <laughs> After that one unremarkable day, we learned the value of trying to make every day remarkable in some way. I'm Teresa Woodard. And I don't know if we can remember what we were doing on Monday, September 10th, but I'm sure most of us remember what we were doing on Tuesday morning, September 11th. Rest in peace to everyone who lost their lives. Mr. Bus yeah, what do you got today? Loading docks. Loading docks. Yeah, that shipment come in from uh, Florida. What the? F
clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there. We are going to join another one of our New York audience for their live coverage. Here at the top of this tower, there's a huge gaping hole, flames still inside. Can you believe this? What schmuck could fly a plane into the trade center? Maybe they ran out of gas or something. Yeah, all of you know, right. Just some jerk off, forgot which lever to pull on his twin engine. That's not a small plane. Hell no. All right, listen up. Let me have your attention here. They're telling us it's a commuter plane. Tower one's being evacuated as a precaution. They've asked us to send a team down to assist. Sergeant McLaughlin. Got a list of names here. Step out when you hear it. We're going downtown.